Hi witches! So today I'm going to talk to you about how to cast a circle. Um, depending on your tra tradition, there are specific steps that need to be taken in order to properly cast a magic circle. Um, if you do follow a specific religion, I do recommend that you read up on that. I, again, am not a religious witch. I don't practice Wicca or anything. Um, so they have their own set of like steps to this. So um, if you would like to read more about that, definitely go for it. Like I super support you. But today I'm going to talk you through and then eventually show you at the end of the video-ish um, how I personally cast circle and um, hopefully it'll kind of help you maybe come up with your own sort of like techniques. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so let's talk about what exactly casting circle is. Um, to cast a circle means that you are creating a protective space around your like your work, right? So around your altar, around wherever you decide to do your ritual work. Um, it can be literally anywhere. It can be if you decide that you want to do something, some sort of spellcraft like in the woods, you can do that. In fact, you could probably more easily make a physical circle outside. Um, but while you're doing ritual work, you open yourself up to like the energies of the universe and there is a possibility of negative energies coming in and kind of wreaking havoc on your life. So in order to protect against that, a lot of witches cast a circle. Um, so a sacred circle, magic circle, circle. Um, some witches don't do this and that is totally fine. That's kind of like their practice. I personally cast circle. It makes me feel safer. Um, so I'm not saying like, if you don't cast circle, something bad is going to happen. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. Not all witches do this, but I feel like it's generally accepted that, um, casting a circle isn't necessarily, isn't like a bad thing. It's just kind of like an extra step. So if it makes you feel more comfortable, like, you know, it makes me feel more comfortable. Here's how you do it, <laughs> basically. Um, so creating a sacred space really is like one of my favorite things about witchcraft. It's very accessible. Um, and I love kind of having that, this idea of a safe and semi-secret place that I can meet with my gods. So anyways, here are the steps I take to cast circle. Okay, so here's how I cast circle. I'm going to start by grounding myself and really reaching out to my deities in order to help me with this working. Um, so right now I am just grounding. Um, and also, so you guys know, I have this at 1.5 speed. So if it seems a little fast, that's why. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is grab my protection candle, and I got this from my friend Pocket Bean. They are a great, like a great witch shop online, so definitely check it out. But anyways, um, I have my protection candle, I put my lighter down behind the camera, and then I'm just going to really quickly grab um, some incense. So you can use any type of incense that you want. Um, and then this I light with my protection candle, imbuing the incense with protective energy. Um, light it, blow it out. I'm trying to wave the smoke around, trying to see if you can see it. But um, then I will take the incense and wave it from my head to my toes. And I usually do this all standing in front of my altar, so I'm sorry if this seems kind of awkward. I'm walking back and forth a lot, but that's what it is. I'll cleanse my altar space, um, and then I'll start walking the perimeter of the room that I want to have as my sacred space. So I'm walking all the way around. Sorry for uh, kind of being out of, <laughs> out of the frame for a second. Um, and then one more time, I will wave some smoke over myself and then draw the symbol of a pentacle. All right, so then following that, I put my incense down on my altar and take my protection candle and I will walk the perimeter of the room. And this can be done with any type of candle. It can be a black candle, a white candle, any sort of protective candle. Um, and again, also, this is an optional step. This is just what I do, but I take that protective energy and put it all around my space. And then I ask my gods to be with me. From here, I take a smaller like pillar candle basically. And this is just so I don't burn my fingers, but I will take that, use it to, or light it on the <laughs> protective candle and then use that to light the two candles to my gods, the candle to protective energy. Um, excuse me, the candle to universal energy, and then um, a candle for any sort of working that I'm doing on uh, that particular occasion. So you can see my altar is just really getting illuminated and it's really pretty. Um, and at this point, I consider myself ready to work. I hope this kind of made sense and gave you an idea of like how I personally cast circle. You can totally follow the steps using different things. I know you're not all going to have like a protection candle or whatever, um, but even just visualizing a circle of light 
or like a globe of light surrounding and protecting you in your sacred space is just as effective. So um, if you're in the broom closet or if you don't have any like tools really, you can 100% cast circle just by like pointing basically, like directing your energy around the room to create that sacred space. So I hope this kind of illustrated it a little bit more. I'll put the steps down below. Um, a lot of witches use like an athame um, to direct energy or a wand to direct energy. And you can 100% do that. I tend not to because again, I feel kind of hokey doing that personally. Not saying that that I think it's very cool and dramatic and like cinematic, but I just sometimes it kind of like makes me like feel weird. Um, so I don't really do that too much. I would like to get more into like that ceremonial type of craft, but That'll be later on down <laughs> this year. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about Casting Circle, I know this this is kind of another short video, but hopefully that, um, you know, that demonstration illustrated kind of what I was getting to. So um, anyways, have a great rest of your guys' day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.